So WeShare is a collective and international community focusing on collaborative economy and open source. So we produce knowledge, we organize events, and we connect people, ideas, and projects around sharing economy, for instance, fab labs, crowdfunding, uh, the peer-to-peer -peer economy and society in general. And so it really started a lot with Facebook. That was really the core. That was how people were able to keep in touch. We always had this one very important Facebook group called We Share Connectors, which was the group where all important announcements were made and sort of maybe decisions, but not really. Facebook, it's really hard to document. So we didn't ever, weren't able to find old discussions. They just disappear. And it's just no way to have any reference. As the community expanded, and we had local groups uh, in uh, many cities and countries. And we felt that um, what we call WeShare Summits, which is the time where uh, connectors gather twice a year to debrief on the past six months and um, um, develop new projects and take decisions, we felt that this format couldn't really be the place for all the decisions we need to take along the way, because some can be taken by local groups, like the Paris community or the Barcelona community, etc. But some um, um, have implications for everybody, and it's very hard to uh, discuss and uh, reach uh, consensus with just like email, Facebook groups. We realized that we weren't really making any decisions at all, almost, <laughs> um, or at least as a collective, um, where we didn't have a good space in which that could work. Lumio was at the second WeShare Fest and won the WeShare Awards, so that's how we found out about it. Um, I've looked at a couple different decision-making tools, I guess, but I just, that one sort of was very intuitive and it was pretty clear how it works. Uh, I think we were not trying to have proper decisions online before using Lumio. So we, we sometimes in like Google Hangouts, because it's like the closest to a face-to-face -face meeting, and sometimes with like polls uh, in uh, Facebook or in a few email threads, but with the increase of the number of contributors and um, um, connectors, so this is the active community members of WeShare, uh, it, it just couldn't work. And we, um, yeah, we, we, we tried to use Lumio when we felt we needed to take decisions between submits and, and there were too many people to solve them in just a Google Hangout, for instance. The moment we started using Lumio, people that I had not heard from in a long time suddenly started popping up. Like, maybe they just voted, because that feels great, right? If you can just do your little like. But, uh, like, it really increased engagement. And that's sort of one of those benefits of, of being very open in that sense. That sometimes con contributions just come from somewhere sometimes, surprisingly. And, like, it's good if it's possible for them to happen. And basically, Lumio um, is not a place where people want to launch a new discussion about whether it's a debate or a... Uh, practical or strategic discussion in WeShare. And then large part, not all of them, but a large part of these discussions then generate uh, decisions that needs to be taken. And in this case, we create proposals and we uh, try to agree on uh, the decision. We can use this tool to enable us to make decisions. And we, we don't even do them offline almost, um, but just go online then, even if we're sitting in one room, because that way, you know, we can sort of read everything in detail. You have all the information. And somehow, it's, it's a bit more easy to follow. And people also have time to reflect. From now on, we will not use uh, any longer the wish on nonprofits as a host for um, like taxable uh, activities, like commercial or even wish fest. Because if, since we sell tickets and we have uh, sponsors, basically, it's considered uh, to be in commercial activity. And then we, uh, there was a lot of debate because uh, philosophically of, oh, but should we create a company for WeShareFest? But then does it belong again to the community or, or is it like a relationship of a organizer and provider or is it a, a partner or what should be the relationship, etc. So there was a lot of uh, technical points, but also emotional uh, reactions from people. And it took a lot and lots of discussion to really explain why it was useful to do that and why we couldn't stick uh, with that. So that was maybe one of the discussions that was the most discussed. But in the end, uh, I would say almost everybody uh, uh, really uh, understood the, the, the reason for it. So we agreed on that decision. You need to be able to create trust and people want to sort of understand what's going on. So that's why I think transparency is, is important. There's a lot of people out there and that really in need for documentation a lot.
So being able to show, you know, this decision was made, it was agreed by everyone. Issues with people saying that, you know, all these decisions were made, but we don't know how, where, it doesn't say anything, right? So now I'm like, yay, I have a history of six months, and I've already done it like in threads, you know, saying like, here's the link to the decision that was made on this date. Like, um, so that's a really great feeling, and um, it's really good for new people that join to be able to see what has been discussed already, and so I think it's really critical to be able to become more of a learning organization. Even though I think nothing will replace having being in the same location and having daily interactions, um, like tools like Lumio bridge a gap, which uh, makes it a bit easier and a bit more feasible to have groups distributed in several countries that can work on a shared vision and common projects and take decisions together, because otherwise it's extremely hard to do that.